YouTube. welcome back to my channel it's your girl sim sima and i want to say thank you thank you thank you thank you for joining me as promised today i'm gonna bring to you this video about my experience with the snowstorm here in texas yes people snowstorm in texas you are shocked Imagine how shocked I was when I realized that we are really going to have a snowstorm. Anyways, guys, um, so as you all already know, I was on a travel nursing assignment. So, I mean, I'm well packed, eager, and I'm like, yeah, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. Let's do this. And boom, there is news that we're having a snowstorm guys let's just say the experience was indifferent it was scary to say the most but i did push through and i went to work all those days before i get into this video though um i want to just take a moment to honor the lives of you know the people who died um during this winter storm the last time i checked the number was like 86 and counting and over half of those are from texas um these people died because of hypothermia these people died from carbon monoxide poisoning and for my non-medical subscribers um hypothermia is just really low body temperature um and our body cells need to be at a particular temperature in order to function. When you get too cold, um, then these organs fail. Um, in terms of carbon monoxide poisoning, um, this gas, it goes into our body, it attaches itself to our red cells, and it displaces the oxygen from these cells. And oxygen is definitely the driving force that our cells need to survive. Um, so these deaths are directly linked to hypothermia and carbon monoxide poisoning. Let's just take a moment to honor their deaths. Thank you. Um, anyways, guys, I am going to be showing you some clips of myself experiencing the snow driving in the snow and freaking out in the snow yes guys i did have a moment where i definitely freaked out i panicked and i made a decision that was not so sane but thank god i made it home safe and that's what we're gonna be talking about um so anyways anybody who knows me they know that i am not a news person i do not follow the news as i am supposed to i could be inside my house for three days and when i step outside the world ended and i didn't even know about it because when i'm in it's like i'm just in and i mean i know i'm taking steps to change that i'm definitely reading more in terms of um current happenings and especially happenings around me and it's getting better it's getting better guys um so anyways um so news of this snowstorm you know it's going around and i'm like oh really we're getting a snowstorm but of course texas weather is so unpredictable um this minute they'll be like oh we're gonna have a big blowout and then when you look the sun is scorching hot you know there is no rain there is no snow i'm like Psh, whatever but they always say it's when you least expect it it's when it's gonna hit whatever it is when you least expect something to hit that's when it's gonna hit and hit this snowstorm did 
So I was in my um, hotel room. No, it started when I was at work. I was in my patient's room um, and my patient was at the window and she's like, oh, I'm just looking at the snow. And I'm like, oh, it started? And she's like, yeah, like about um, 20 minutes ago or so. So I went and I looked and the parking lot was, you know, already covered. And I'm like, ooh, um, this is real. This is very real. Um, so right away, I started, the first thing I started to think about, I'm like, oh my God, I hope hope my relief comes in the morning because I don't want to be stuck at work. So that's my first thought. I hope my relief comes in the morning. Okay, so my relief came. Um, I went to my car and to my surprise, my car was like covered with snow and the ground and I'm walking on snow and snow is on me and I'm like, okay, this is getting a little bit more real. This is definitely getting a little bit more real. Um, a little bit of excitement sparked in me at that time. And I was like, okay, okay, I can do this. I can definitely do this. Guys, you would not imagine what happened to me. You will not imagine what I did. No one who has experience with snow would have ever done this, but I did it. Take a look. And so I got all the snow off the car. I had a bottle of water in the car and I turned my wiper on and um, I poured the water on the windshield thinking I'm going to clear it immediately the water created a ice a, a thin layer of ice on the glass and then i'm like oh shit oh shit oh shit i'm never gonna be able to get this off and the snow is starting to come a little bit harder and i'm like you know what i better make it out of here before it gets bad that's my first instinct that was my only instinct it's like i jump into survival mode and I started driving with only that little section at the bottom of the car, the windshield that I could see through. Dangerous, I know, but by the grace of God, I made it back to my hotel in one piece. I made it back to my hotel in one piece. Um, so, yeah, let me show you, you know, the roads, you know, how I drove in the snow and all that. Country come at town, Massa. Massa, we are walking as snow at Texas. No, this is serious. Watch her. Watch her. Watch the. No, this can't real. Oh, this for real people? I'm going say, me I live at Texas because Texas now have no snow. Oh, this for real people? Watch her, people? No, sir. Let me just show you the snow while I'm still on the hotel complex. Um, this is it, guys. This is it. The road is really, really, really icy. So I don't think the snow is so much of the problem like the ice. See? I don't even leave the complex yet and people already passing me. But that's okay. This is how I'm going to drive. If it means I drive one mile per hour to get there safely, I'ma drive one mile per hour to get there safely. So I'll talk to you. I'm approaching the main road. So I'll talk to you when I get there, guys. Okay, bye. I'm just gonna look and see wherever I see vehicle going, I'll drive there. If I don't see any vehicle going down a particular path, then I'm gonna avoid it. Later. So guys, I just done um, see, It's snowing, 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 snowing I just got some ice off of my car um, I get some hot water and pour it on it And now I'm going to get my ass to work Let me see Let's see, going to get my ass to work Bye guys so for days, um, the snowstorm has, is still impacting us here in Texas because there are places we still without potable water. There are places with 
where there is no food um so definitely we're still feeling the impact but it is getting so much better and that we are grateful for a lot of my friends they have reached out you know say how you know it's going how we're doing here thank you thank you thank you um so much appreciated um even though we did not feel the wrath of the impact there are families who really did feel it and to them you know our condolences and all but um let me tell you we felt it in the hospitals too because we were using bottled water for hand washing we were telling patients you can't get a bath we were telling patients you can't get a new linen unless it is soiled like visibly soiled you know that's what we had to do because the laundry truck that comes in it couldn't the roads were impossible so they couldn't come in um so all that impacted us in the hospital um we we were we were told we can't flush the toilets because um, we had to conserve water so that we can conserve heat. Um, so it was really, you know, an experience there. Luckily, only one evening I went home to my hotel and we didn't have cold, warm water. Just one evening. But other than that, it was fine. I had heat. I had, you know, food and all that. Um, DoorDash was still delivering, so of course, you know, you had to pump the tip up, you know, because they were out there risking their lives um, to make sure that people could have food to eat. Um, so, yes, guys, um, as I said, it's an experience to remember. Um, I'll never take for granted, you know, the little things it's just the little things we never know how much we need these things until they become a scarcity and that's true you know all over all about life that's definitely the truth um so even as in the hospitals we just oh strip linens and toss linens and use linens not knowing that there's gonna come a day when we're gonna have to try to conserve these linens you know but it was an experience. Um, it was an experience down in my book. And um, happy, happy to come out in one piece. And as I said, um, definitely, definitely, definitely a learning experience. There you have it, guys. That's my experience there. Comment, comment down below, you know, for those who live in states that get snow all the time comment down below how do you cope with driving in the snow um what tips do you have because who knows we might be getting we might get another one sooner than we think i mean it might be next year guys thanks for tuning in thanks for subscribing thanks for watching tell a friend to tell a friend comment down below leave a thumbs up subscribe turn on your post notifications so that you can be notified when your girl posts a video and what good sim sim a pussy what good